hello good morning good afternoon good evening it all depends on where you're watching this tutorial from um for some time now we've been handling how to model individual unit operations on this channel um from now on we'll be handling how to uh, use these unit operations to achieve uh or to achieve industrial solutions basically um, the first thing we are going to be handling in this series is how to calculate um, gasoline additives with Aspen Heises. One of the learning objectives is to learn how to specify a mixer. Although we have learned this previously, if you have not watched a, the video on how to model a mixer, I will suggest you go back to that. Um, it's really give you more more insight on how to do this. And also we are going to be le learning how to use spreadsheets in Aspen Heights is to perform customized calculations. Now the prerequisite is knowledge of Aspen Heights software. So before you can handle this or before you can do this, you need to at least have basic knowledge of Aspen Heights and how to navigate through the software. If you don't have this particular knowledge, I will advise you go back to our previous videos on this channel. It will help you. They are actually very rich, very rich. There are a lot of rich contents there. So you just go back and go through them uh, before you come over to this application. Now, what is the background of our simulation? Now, ethyl tetbutyl ether ETBE is an oxygenate which is added to gasoline to improve the research octane number and to also increase the oxygen content. The question is why do we need to increase the oxygen content? It's very important because it helps us to improve on the combustion and reduce emission from um, from the exhaust basically so now the goal of this particular simulation is to improve or to have an oxygen content of about 22.7 percent by weight in the final product now the legal limits or the standard for etbe should not exceed 17 percent by volume please take note of that 17 percent by volume now we understand that gasoline is a complex um a product from the seed um from the refinery process that's after um hydro treating and all of that um is actually a complex product so what we need now is we need to use something very close to model it so we're going to be using for simplicity purpose we're going to be using 224 trimethylpentane to represent gasoline but if you have a gasoline um uh the components that make mix up the gasoline and the composition or you have modeled your refinery process and you have the gasoline stream after um the cracking units and all of that you can actually go ahead and use the same process to uh model this okay it's still the same thing now we are using 224 trimethyl pentane to represent gasoline so how do we now find out the percentage of etbe that will be required to give us 2.7 percent of oxygen now the first thing to do is to carry out this calculation here we understand that the molecular weight of etbe is 102.18 and the molecular weight of oxygen is 16 gram per mole so what we need to do is divide the molecular weight of etbe by the molecular weight of oxygen and multiply it by our target percentage of oxygen which is 2.7 percent so that will give us the target percentage of etbe all right in the um feedstock so after carrying out this calculation we have 17.243 percent um of etbe by weight in the product stream okay remember the target the legal limit is 17 percent by volume although what we've been able to calculate here is what 17.243 percent by what by weight not by volume so let's we are going to be using the spreadsheet to achieve this all right now we will try this for any flow rate any gasoline flow rates of about let's say 100 kilogram per hour or we can use 70 kilogram per hour we just want to you know see how this gives us what we want now we're going to be going straight to the aspen high seas environment we already know the components that are required for this the gasoline and um, etbe 
all right so what we need to do now we need to add our etbe and uh, we need to add two two we need to add two two four tri methyl tri methyl pentane all right so add this okay so we need to add select a uh, fluid package um there's there's a tutorial on how to select the appropriate fluid package for your simulation you can also go back to um still on this channel just go back to the list of videos we have you see a video on that you don't just select any fluid package okay there's a criteria for selecting the right fluid package for your simulation so go through that you understand the reason why we selected pen robinson for this particular process okay so we move straight to the simulation environment add our material stream there's also another tutorial on how to add your material stream all right and how to analyze the material stream after after defining it so you should just go back to that all right the composition for etb is one simply means that we have a pure component here all right so we're using the temperature of 25 degrees celsius uh pressure of one bar but we don't know we don't know um the flow rate we don't know the flow rate we don't know the flow rate so um sorry did i oh wrong wrong all right 25 degrees celsius rather one bar we don't know the mass flow rate so let's leave it at this all right so let's define gasoline um gasoline we're using the same temperature and the same pressure one bar so the fluids so let's use a fluid of let's say 92.30 kilogram per hour okay and um composition one all right so now we're going to blend both we'll get a mixer there's a tutorial already on how to model a mixer with aspen hyces so you can go back to that and check how it's done okay now you see the mixer is not soft because we don't know the flow rate of etbe now we're going to be using a sp um, spreadsheet icon to carry out this so you add the spreadsheet double click on it click on spreadsheet um what we need to do now cell a we type um gasoline mass flow gasoline mass flow uh the second a2 we type targets etbe mass flow all right so what is our gasoline mass flow it's been added so we need to import it you right click on b1 which is um directly opposite the gasoline mass flow so right click on it click on add import variable select gasoline um come over here and type mass flow <coughs> select mass flow then click on this arrow to add it to the selected environment so click on done it will appear here so um for this particular cell cell b2 so this is where we need to carry out the calculation um this will be equal to b1 um, sorry excuse me equal to b1 times remember our calculated um by weight right presented by weight which is 17.243 so we have 0 0.17243 we close the brackets divide by open bracket 1 minus 0 0.17243 uh we'll close brackets so this will give us 19.23 kilogram per hour all right so this is going to be the flow rate that will give us 2.7 percent oxygen in the blend all right so what we need to do right now is to export this now i want you to see something as you can see this is not calculated yet but we are going to export this value to this material stream so how do we do that right click on the calculated value click on export formula results we select the stream we want to um export it to that is etbe select the parameter we want to export it to that is mass flow all right and click on select automatically this is calculated now 
there's something I want to let you see. Um, let's open up this. 19.23 has been exported. Now, if we, if the flow rates, let's say you want to check um, for different um different flow rate of gasoline you want to check the quantity that will be required for different flow rate of gasoline so what you need to do now let's say we have 200 kilogram per hour of gasoline so let's see so to achieve to achieve an oxygen um level of 2.7 percent we'll need 41.67 that's for a flow rate of 200 kilogram per hour of gasoline we need if mass flow rate of 41.67 kilogram per hour okay per hour so um if we also check said the percentage by volume should not be more than should not be more than um 17 points that's a target let's look at it again 17 the legal limits of ETBE should not exceed 17% by volume. So let's let's look at this. Let's come back here. This is the blend. So let's go to composition. Let's see percentage by volume. Liquid vo liquid volume fraction. So as you can see, our ETBE is 15.96%. Can you see that? This 15.96% by volume which is below the legal limit so we are actually on course now this is how to um carry out blending in aspen Hysis. so any of the versions can do 8.0 11 2.0 12.0 or 14 as a case maybe so whatever um wh whatever model that you have or version that you have you can actually do exactly the same thing so i i hope you learned something new um let's say every day or every two days for the next 30 days we are going to be having videos back to back on this channel on the application of things that we've learned how we can apply it to um in um to uh, industrial industrial use and all of that so thank you very much for sticking to this channel and thank you for always coming back to check my tutorials i hope you're learning something and please i want to admonish you to keep practicing everything you've learned here that's the only way you can become better so keep practicing you learn and you practice and that's the only way you can actually become uh better with this software thank you very much and um god bless you